Hey everybody, it's Vitamin E-Man here at a very windy Concord for the 2020 East Bay Comic Con. Hey listeners, it is Vitamin E-Man from the Word Vomit Productions crew saying hello to our good buddy right over here, Mike Hampton. Mike, what's up, man? Hello, hello. How's it going? How have you been? Uh, I've been working hard, breaking my back, uh, but making a living and making it happen. Are we talking like Bane levels of breaking back or...? Um, not Bane. Um, God, who else got their back broken? I'm trying to think. I'll just say not Bane, but... Um, 50% Bane. Let's say 50%. I like that. Half, yeah, 50% Bane. Yes. <laughs> right on, man. So the last time we got to see you was at Idiot Fest in Mountain View, which was what seems like forever ago. Yeah. How have you been since then? Great. Um, yeah, that was such a great show. Um, I've just been doing a, doing a ton of shows. Um, I'm actually about to leave uh, tomorrow for Charlotte for a big convention out there. And then... Driving back uh, through New Orleans for this little thing called Mardi Gras. What? Uh, so yeah, um, but good. Just doing lots of, lots of you know conventions, street art festivals, art and wine festivals. Just getting the art thing going and and making it happen. When you said Charlotte, Charlotte, North Carolina, right? That's right. Yeah. So. Okay, I got to give you fair warning. Yeah. They say Ric Flair hides in the bushes and jumps out and knife hand chops you. Oh, yeah. So always keep your chest protected and you'll be fine. Woo! <laughs> right okay. on, man. Right. So when we first met, you were doing something called Hot Zombie Chicks. Mm -hmm. And on the side, you were also drawing people as zombies. But we've seen a shift in direction. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, so I was doing that. Thank you for recalling those times. Uh, Anytime, buddy. <laughs> so yeah, I kind of was doing that at, right as the zombie craze was just on its way up. And then it just kind of exploded and everywhere it was zombie, zombie, zombie. TV show came out it was just so much and I kind of like felt like I was a small fish in an oversaturated market of zombies and I was just kind of over it at that point so uh, I transitioned out of that started doing a different comic book uh, called Eagle Eye and then I just started doing a lot of graphic design work for hire and then from there kind of transitioned into what I do now which is more uh, a lot of logo mashups of like sports teams with comic books or like outdoor stuff with Star Wars or um, but also do like a lot of patch designs and, and like jacket designs like like the one I'm wearing where like we'll repurpose old military jackets and uh, or we do patches of like all the all the cities in the Bay Area and branching out from there and we sew them on hats I say we it's me and my partner Luke uh, Fraser so um, shout out to Luke what's up Luke um, yeah so we just do I just do a lot of, of more design work than I do actually comic books. These See, days. I didn't even realize that you were wearing a military jacket right now yeah. until you actually brought that up, which is really cool because it just looks like a cool jacket. Well, it's because I'm wearing it is why it looks cool. Ah, ah. So it's not the jacket that gives you the plus 50 charisma. It's the person that gives the jacket yeah. plus 50 charisma. The jacket just highlights the person. There you go. <laughs> right on, man. Right on. And then uh, for a little while, you actually had a shop opened up at the San Jose airport, right? I did, yeah. We um, were selling our hats there. Uh, we got a few stores throughout the Bay that, that sell some of our local Bay Area hats. But yeah, it was cool. It's just, it's, diff it's interesting to see all the different avenues with, with the different types of art that I'm doing now. Right on, man. Well, you know, thank you so much for your time. I don't want to take too much of it because you got some vet people wanting to buy some stuff. Yeah, but if, busy, yeah. if you want to go ahead and let us everybody know where they can find you on social media, we'd love to have it. Cool, yeah. It's just at Mike Hampton Art, all one word. And uh, also MikeHamptonArt.com. And you can purchase most of my stuff there. Mike, thank you so much, man. We really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you, E. I'm here with Chewbacca the Wookiee. And I just want to say, how are you doing, Chewbacca? <laughs> Yeah, that's good stuff. That's good stuff. Are you enjoying the convention? <laughs> oh, wow. You're pretty famous. Are you ever worried that uh, the crowds will be really um, 
uh, coming out to you? Yeah. Okay, that's good. That's good. I see you take a lot of pictures of the kids. They love you here. How's that feel? Oh man, I love that. I love it. Now I always wanted to know. Now that you inherited the Millennium Falcon, because I believe it's yours completely. Uh, yeah, I, I know it's sad times. It's sad times. Uh, is it hard to register the Millennium Falcon here in California? No? Oh man, they must give you a deal, you know, because war veteran and all. Alright, that's awesome. Alright, uh, well, I'm Randy Kings from the Word Bomb Podcast, and uh, can I, can we, let's uh, sign out with uh, Chewbacca's uh, Wookiee call? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I am here with a friend of the show, personal friend of mine, Rock Rage. Rock Rage, really good to see you again, man. It's always good to see you, man, especially here at East Bay Comic Con 2020. It's actually looking like it's getting a lot bigger every year. Yeah, uh, I thought this year they would actually move it to another location, but regardless, there's still a lot of people here, a lot of people in the community, so it's really good to see that community kind of grow each year for this, this small con. I'm seeing like the setup is improving as well, because when we actually had our own table here, it wasn't that it was bad, but you can tell that they were still in the early phases of how they want to structure everything. And a few years later, now it's just like they have a good idea of it. Yeah, and uh, it was at another venue too, right? At yes. that time? Yeah, so now they have it here at the Crown Plaza, I believe. Yeah, yeah. And it's really cool. It's been really going on uh, for some time now. Yeah. So, I don't know if people know this. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. I did I did tag it on there. But you had a show with a gentleman named Sam Maxion, if I'm saying that right. Hey, Sam, how's Vegas treating you, bud? And you actually had me on the show a couple of times to co-host. Uh, so first, I wanted to say thank you for that, because that was a lot of fun. Uh, and secondly, how did that come about? So the Slam Show is uh, by DJ Slam and Sam. Big shout out to Sam. He's in Vegas right now. But uh, when he started the show, he, had, he he networked his whole life. He met people. He hung out with people. And as a collector, he said, you know, I want to do a podcast. I want to get a bunch of people to be on my show. And it started as a weekly. Then it's become a bi-weekly. We would get celebrities on there, musicians, actors, um, you know, like the who's who. doesn't matter. Even if you're small time or big, they're going to get a lot of people on that show. And then we had you on there. We had uh, MMA fighters uh, like Kung Lee on the show we had uh what's his name Dougery Grant from the Geek Fashion Show he was on the on the Slam show and we would do it bi-weekly and we did it in Alameda uh in your hometown pretty much yeah <laughs> pretty much yeah. yeah and so um since then I've been doing a lot more freelance videography a lot of more uh, photography and things like that but the show uh really built up a lot of foundation for a lot of networking I've been doing over the years see when when he talks about like the video work that he's done we have like these very cheesy videos that we used to do in San Francisco oh my god like terrible videos, but you know what? It was the start of everything, the introduction of everything. Um, since then and now, has your skill set, do you believe it has it improved greatly? Uh, do you feel like it still needs work? Do you, are you that humble artist or are you the bravado artist? Like, oh yeah, man, I'm the best. No, to be honest, there's always room. There's always room to kind of grow, you know, because um, it's the equipment. Because I'll go ahead and buy all this like expensive equipment. Doesn't really mean much if you don't know what you're doing with it. I've uh, started my career working on uh, reel-to-reel -reel cameras, um, you know, eight millimeter film, and then I, from there, from college, I just progress all the way now into like the 4K. I'm looking at 8K now. I'm one of those people. Every year, I want to look at new technology, the new advancements, VR, drones, things like that. That's what I. That's what I personally. That's how I feel about just advancing my knowledge of things so when people come to me I have a plethora of things that I know that knowledge I can go oh you're looking at this type of project I can help you with this I've done podcasting I've done reviews I've done you know a, a wide variety so that's that what it kind of comes to me I want to be a person that has like it all kind of laid out as opposed to just be known for one or two things and I think the question that everybody wants answered is when are you and I oh, I got this. <laughs> going to settle the score. Oh, to settle the score, right? In the game. Oh, a little yes. fisticuffs right there. Right there. On some Def Jam fight for New York. That's right. You know what? Soon. I want to do it soon. Um, I've been real humble with work right now. It's been keeping me busy. But no, I definitely, it's in the back of my mind. I definitely want to do uh, it. Are we talking like Iron Sheik humble? Like you come home and your back's broken? Oh, Sheikah Baby. Sheikah Baby is very humble. He a humble. Uh, we want to play the game. It's all a humble to me. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> No, yes, I definitely, soon, I want to kind of uh, meet up, we can definitely do that. Big shout out to not only, um, you know, for my productions and the things that I do, big shout out to 10 times 10 
because they've been a big support of me and the things that I do. Um, and if we do that, I would love to bring them on as well. Lynn and Becky from 10 Times 10. Okay. Uh, Rock Rage, thank you so much. And uh, you were saying that a lot of your stuff can be seen on Instagram. So if you want to put it out there right now, please let us know where people can actually see your stuff. Yeah, no problem. Uh, easiest way to find any of my work is at Rock Rage Pro. Very simple, Rock Rage Pro. And I have my photos up there. I have links. Contact me via Instagram and I can hook you guys up with uh, deals and things like that. All right. Thanks a lot, man. Once again, appreciate it. Uh, I am Emmanuel from the Word Vomit Production Crew. Thanks for watching and keep an eye out for more content. Thank you.